Hi! Today I'll show you a little application that displays a list of applications running on your Android device. The list will be shown in a list view and when a process name is clicked, the application will display information about the amount of data that application transferred. The finished application will look like this. It displays running applications list. When a list element is clicked, data usage is displayed. Okay, this is a simple app and I'm going to show you how it's coded. Let's start by displaying data in a list view. We have a layout file which represents one row of our list. Each row will have an image, so image view is used here. And an application name text view is used to display that. To display data in a list view, you write a list adapter class, which extends array adapter, which is applicable to store running app process info class, since we are going to display running processes information. We have a context variable that stores process information as a list variable called values. Here is a simple constructor that sets context and value references. The main overridden method of this class is getView. This method is responsible for building each list element row. Take a look. We use a context reference to get the inflator service, which in turn is used to construct a row view by calling the inflate method of the layout inflator. When building each row view, we need to point to this row layout. Next, we are going to place an application name in each row's text view. At the end, a list view row is returned. Since we are using list view, which is responsive, our activity will extend list activity to add functionality to perform an action when an item is clicked. We will override the onListItemClick method. Take a look. Our activity extends the list activity. In the onCreate method, we call the getSystemService method to get a reference to an activity manager object. Next, when we have this reference, we can easily get a list of running processes by calling the get running app processes method. This method returns a list of running processes. After checking if the list is not null and not empty, which is particularly impossible, we need to set our list adapter with the reference to this activity context and a list of running processes. Now we want to add a behavior of displaying a message when a list element is clicked. We override the onListItemClick method. At the beginning, we take a clicked element by calling the getItem method on our list adapter with the value of the position. We need to perform an appropriate cast since our stored item is a running app process info class. We take the UID of the running application. Now we need to use the traffic stats class static methods to get traffic information. To get the amount of received data, we need to use the getUIDRxBytes method. To get the amount of sent data, we need to use the getUIDTxBytes method. Next, we construct a string message and display it using the toast class. Hope you found this video useful. 
If you have any questions, just post a comment or contact us via email, our Facebook page or Twitter. Bye-bye! Thank you.